August 2025 began like any other month for the world's top observatories, until a sudden pulse of excitement rippled across research networks. Teams from MIT and NASA were deep in data from the cometary body known as 3i Atlas, blending massive image sets from Hubble, the James Webb Space Telescope, Gemini, and the Very Large Telescope. What they found was not supposed to exist. A mysterious pattern had emerged, one that no algorithm had ever revealed before. For those watching the data stream flicker into focus, it felt like the universe itself had whispered a secret into the dark. Subscribe now, because what unfolded that night would not just redefine astronomy, it would question how we see reality itself. At precisely 1840, UTC, on August 29th, the MIT Quantum Engineering Cluster began its scheduled processing run. What started as a routine calibration check quickly veered into uncharted territory. Each observatory's dataset was verified, logged and authenticated, leaving no room for error. The joint MIT-NASA team, assisted remotely by experts from the European Southern Observatory and Gemini, activated a prototype quantum filtering algorithm, an experimental system designed to draw faint cosmic signals out of the static fog that hides them. Minutes later, the algorithm froze, a calibration glitch in the Gemini feed halting the process. After tense corrections and a silent recalibration, the filter resumed. What appeared next stopped every conversation in the control room. The filtered images revealed a high contrast formation within the coma of 3i Atlas, a stable, recurring structure where no structure should exist. It was neither a pixel glitch nor a lens flare. It was something else. Across exposures from multiple telescopes, taken at different wavelengths and orientations, the anomaly persisted. It held its form, stubbornly immune to the chaos of cosmic light. Researchers leaned closer to their screens, speechless. What had been dismissed as noise for months was now a distinct pattern carved in light, steady and deliberate. The discovery was immediately flagged for verification and shared with planetary defense committees. Quietly under embargo, copies of the quantum-filtered frames began circulating to observatories across the world. Behind the glow of screens and the hum of servers, a new kind of tension took root. If the structure was real, it meant something extraordinary. That a man-made algorithm had just pierced through the cosmic veil and exposed a detail hidden since time immemorial. But if it was an illusion, an artifact born from the fragile logic of quantum probability, then the discovery could collapse under its own brilliance. The teams moved cautiously, sending data packets through encrypted channels, comparing every timestamp, every metadata entry. Each photon's history was retraced from the moment it struck a detector to the instant it became a line in the filtered image. The structure refused to vanish. Quantum filtering, as the MIT and NASA engineers would later explain, was not a mere upgrade to classical enhancement. It was a reinvention of vision itself. Instead of analyzing light as a static array of pixel values, the filter treated every photon as a quantum bit, each capable of existing in multiple states simultaneously. By exploiting phase relationships and probability amplitudes, the algorithm could amplify coherent patterns that classical methods would dismiss as randomness. But the same power that could reveal hidden order also risked conjuring patterns out of chaos. Maintaining quantum coherence was everything. One misalignment, one fraction of lost phase data, and the algorithm could fabricate ghosts from mathematical noise. As the hours stretched into dawn, the filtered sequence of 3Y Atlas continued to intrigue. Cross-checks between Gemini and Hubble data confirmed that the pattern was not a digital echo or compression residue. JWST's infrared readings hinted at localized temperature anomalies near the same coordinates, suggesting that the structure might correspond to a real surface feature. Yet no known comet model could explain it. The possibility of subsurface vents, hardened ridges or layered mineral bands came up in early discussions. Some scientists speculated that the feature might even mark the boundary of a crust layer formed before our sun was born. Others warned against over-interpretation, reminding colleagues that the quantum filter was still unproven in real astronomical conditions. Soon, other observatories joined the hunt. The Very Large Telescope initiated a full-spectrum analysis, while Gemini North captured complementary exposures. 
Forensic reviews of every step in the data chain began, tracing each pixel from the raw photon to the filtered output. Each team worked in near silence, aware that a single oversight could tip the balance between revelation and error. In some reprocessed versions, the structure dimmed but never disappeared. In others, it sharpened, as if teasing its observers, real but always just beyond absolute certainty. The quantum filter's power to pull meaning from the void had blurred the line between discovery and illusion. Audit teams from Michigan State, Caltech and Esso were brought in to dismantle the mystery. Their goal was simple, prove or disprove the structure's existence. Using open source variants of the quantum code, they ran hundreds of test sequences, altering coherence thresholds, error correction depth and suppression ratios. When the sensitivity increased, echoes of the shape appeared nearby, like shadows of the same object cast in different dimensions. Lower the threshold and it would fade into obscurity, leaving only the faintest suggestion that something had once been there. Was this evidence of a real interstellar feature or proof that the human mind, aided by quantum probability, could summon structure from the void? By early September, the investigation had evolved into something much larger. Data custodians at Hubble and JWST confirmed the integrity of their archives, finding no indication of tampering or corruption. Gemini South's operators rechecked every flat field correction and cosmic ray removal. The audit logs were spotless. The anomaly remained. Tension grew as independent reprocessing teams reported similar outcomes. The structure persisted, but its intensity shifted depending on algorithmic variables. It existed, but only through a lens that humanity had never used before. The question now was whether that lens showed truth or a reflection of our own computational imagination. For those who had witnessed the moment of discovery, the atmosphere was electric. A Gemini technician recalled how the control room had fallen silent when the first filtered image appeared, each glowing pixel like a heartbeat in the dark. Another described it, as the first time routine work had felt like witnessing history in real time. Across the world, night shift analysts, data scientists and quantum engineers found themselves part of something vast and uncertain. The discovery became personal, a test of faith in the very tools they had built. Was 3 Eye Atlas revealing itself, or were they shaping what they wanted to see? Meanwhile, the wider scientific community watched with a mix of awe and skepticism, Discussion threads on research forums filled with debates about the dangers of algorithmic overreach. Some hailed quantum filtering as the dawn of a new observational age, a way to see what physics itself might hide. Others cautioned that such power could distort as easily as it could reveal. Within NASA and the European Space Agency, policy boards began drafting new standards for algorithmic transparency, demanding open source releases and verifiable data chains for any future quantum-enhanced discoveries. A quiet consensus emerged. Extraordinary vision demands extraordinary accountability.